this time a shameless plug for a book that holds loads of information about file based audio and related matters. I invite you to ask questions as long as they are not personal buying advice, so you do, and rightly so. Some of those questions require a longer answer than I can give in the available space and time. If that question is described in my ebook File Based Audio aka Streaming Audio, I will advise the person to buy it. I often get surprised response about the amount of knowledge it carries. I recently updated the book and thought it might be useful to you to know what's in the book. And of course, motivate you to buy it and so support the work I do here. Chapter 1. Why? I've been experimenting with file based audio since 2001 when almost anyone in the hi-fi industry wanted to sell CD players. I saw my children use Dad's old computer not only for homework as intended, but also for playing music. I gave my then still very young son a Maran CD player with some audiophile tweaks and even a number of blank CDRs to burn his illegal copies on. But he kept using his computer. Chapter 1 of this book is about this discovery and other factors that started me investigating file based audio. Chapter 2. History. George Bernard Shaw once said, we learn from history that we learn nothing from history. He might be right, but I still love to know the history of things for it makes me understand why things are the way they are. Therefore, chapter 2 is my history with streaming devices, starting with the Slim Devices Slim 3 player and in a new edition ending with Rune. This history takes you along the squeeze box, the Sonos Connect and even radio, for streaming radio is popular too nowadays. Chapter 3. The right system. Chapter 3 is about the kind of devices that are on the market. You could have a standalone device that essentially is a CD player where the hard disk replaces the CD mechanism. But you could also have a passive renderer in the living and have a server, NAS or computer elsewhere in the house take care of it all. And in between is a myriad of other solutions. They are all covered, naming their pros and cons so to make you decide easier. Chapter 4. Server based. Devices, the players, often need a back end in the shape of a computer, NAS or server that runs special software. Here you hear the words like UPnP, DNLA, WAL and RAID. Although it is impossible to give ready to use examples, it is possible to explain what these terms mean and what's important for you and what not. Chapter 5. The Audiophile Computer You can also use a, a computer directly connected to your stereo, although there are potential problems around any corner. Chances are that it sounds horrible unless you or your computer supplier knows exactly what to do right. This was the most fun chapter to write once I realized that an audiophile computer has lots in common with a cuckoo clock. Chapter 6. The software. It is impossible to describe all player software on the market, but to give you a good understanding on what is possible and at the same time naming software that is advisable. Four software players are described. Not only what they do, but also how to make sure your music collection stays intact and how to play audio files bit perfect. Chapter 7. Audio files. What audio formats are popular and what's the best format? What is FLAC and what's MQA in FLAC? What should you do to get good rips of your CDs? And very important too, how to go about with metadata, the information about the music that is stored in each audio file. Chapter 8. Wireless Audio Protocols Wireless audio is very popular, especially Bluetooth. What quality does it offer? What about AirPlay and the new Google Cast? This is a short chapter since things here are rather simple. Chapter 9. Downloading quality audio. 
you can rip your own CDs but also buy audio files on the web. Mostly in lower quality but also in CD quality or higher, although sometimes you have to move to a PO box in New York as a friend of mine did to buy abroad. Chapter 10 On Demand Streaming Services You don't need to own the audio files, you can also lease them. That can be done in lower than CD quality but also in CD quality and soon even in higher quality. What will it cost you? Is it cheaper than owning the music? Also taking into account that you need to have a hard disk for the originals plus one for a backup. Chapter 11 Digital to replace analog radio A third way to listen to music is through the radio, although old fashioned FM radio is to be terminated within a few years in many countries. The digital alternatives like AG Radio, Digital Radio Mondial and DAB Plus are to replace the FM stations and since they are digital they are better. Or are they? Chapter 12 Two Way Remote During the 2008 CES in Vegas a representative of PS Audio told me that they would no longer try to make their own two way remote control since the iPhone had better hardware than they could ever make for that money. It was the first time I heard someone suggest that a smartphone would make a good remote. Nowadays tablets and smartphones are more or less the standard for controlling your music player. Chapter 13 – Setting up a network In most cases the network is the backbone of file based audio. Networking has become less complex over the years as a result of things like UPnP standards. Still there is a lot that can go wrong and I needed 9 pages to write an easy to understand yet comprehensive introduction to networking. Chapter 14 – How Digital Works Here a metaphor is used to explain digital waveform registration to you. I'm going to measure the parcel shelf of my car to replace the cardboard version by an MDF version. But my carpenter is in the next village. In the end you will understand digital audio and its potential problems and I have my car speakers mounted on a more sturdy parcel shelf. Chapter 15 – About Cables This chapter was written for my second book that I'm still working on. But I saw so many misunderstandings about cables that I wouldn't wait this long. It describes a number of measurable properties of a cable that can influence the sound. Some are like airbags, only needed in dire situations, while others are like good brakes and just like brakes need good wheel geometry, proper shock absorbers, very good tyres and sometimes even ABS to benefit from good cables all the cables need to be good with the power cables having the highest priority. Chapter 16 – On Hans Beekhuizen The medium is the message, so you need to know a bit about my background. Here you also find all links to my work and how to contact me. The book is available through the Apple iBook Store and the Amazon Kindle eBook Store in almost all countries all over the world. It's written in English and both versions hold exactly the same information. The Apple iBook version is slightly more advanced in navigation but can only be read on Apple iOS and OS X devices while the Amazon Kindle version can be read on any device or computer Amazon has free Kindle reading software for. Due to taxes prices slightly differ per country but will normally be around 9 euros or 10 US dollars. By buying the book you buy 40 years of experience in digital audio and over 15 years of experience with file based audio. Supporting your audio experience by supporting my work looks like a win-win situation. New reviews and background stories are in the making, so subscribe to this channel Follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. You can also post questions there, but please don't ask me for buying advice. View my questions video to find out why, the link is in the top right corner. You'll find more information below this video on YouTube. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up 
and tell your friends on the web about it. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.